Okay, people, welcome back to another tutorial about the Funko Pop, about armature rigging and posing the Funko Pop for 3D printing. We're just gonna do some simple posing here. Press one in the numpad, you will go into front view. And then if you do not have this already enabled, go over to preferences and the add-on rigify is what you wanna have checked so that you can easily add this rig to your character. Go back into the 3D viewport and let's press Shift A in object mode to add the armature. So once you add the Rigify add-on, you can get these single bone human meta animals and some basic rigs. We are gonna use the human rig for this. Press Z to bring up solid mode. Then press Alt Z to go into X-ray mode. And then scale it up. You want the shoulders in this case to line up with the character. And then we're gonna tab into edit mode with the armature selected. Press three on the numpad to go over to the side view. And let's select the face because we do not need that in this case. You can press X to delete those bones. Go back into front view, delete the ears as well, and delete this bone called face. You can see up here which bone you're specifically selecting. So press X, delete that bone, we don't need it. And then we're gonna delete everything on this side of the body to make our lives a little bit simpler. So just select all these bones, press X, delete the bones, and you should just have everything on what is the character's left side of the body, your right side of the screen. We're now going to select the arm, shift click, you did not get everything, press GX to bring it over, G, Z to bring it down, and then rotate on the Y axis. G, Z to bring it up, G, X to bring it over. We're then gonna scale this so that it lines up accordingly. And you wanna get this about as in the middle of the arm as possible for this to work correctly and to avoid any odd folds in your character. I'm gonna shift click this wrist bone to keep it there. G, X to slide over the rest of the fingers. And then we're gonna go into top view, start lining things up better. GY, bring this over, GX. And you can easily kind of see where the bones are supposed to line up at that point. You can press GY to bring these in from this view where they're supposed to be. Bring over the thumb first since it is the most in the way here. And you're gonna have to just move this around a bit to get it all lined up exactly you're gonna have to switch views a few times so the first time you do this it's gonna be a little bit frustrating but you get used to it and you just have to set up the one side so it's not so bad then you want kind of the front of each finger to stick just underneath the fingernail and again in this case just like the arm you want it to be as central to the part of the body you're trying to move as possible. And just pressing GX every time we're doing this. And I will speed this up for the sake of shortening this video. At this point, we're gonna just try to bring all of these up to where they're supposed to be. This is where things can get a little bit tricky but you gotta switch kind of back and forth between the top view and the front view to get this all straightened out. Press the circles there, kind of like the joints of each one of the bones. That's the easiest way to move it around. And anytime there's two kind of joints overlapping, you wanna make sure you have both parts selected or it'll kind of be a frustrating situation where you separate it from the bone that you're trying to just move around. So the hand is pretty in place there now, pretty well lined up. That's about how you want it to look like. Move on to the foot and the leg here. Press one on the numpad to go back into front view, press GX to move it over. And we're definitely gonna have to resize that, but let's move the rest of the leg over first. And with this bone, 
you want it to be kind of just right at the top of the leg in this case, or it's gonna make some weird deformities when we're moving it around. Try to make these kind of as evenly sized as possible, the spine bones there. And we're gonna drag this bone out, make it a little bit larger so it fits the whole head. So we've got just about everything there where it needs to be. Let's fix this bone in the foot first. And you want this heel bone to be right at the back of the foot there. And then this kind of controls the foot. So we're gonna scale it up. So it's about the same size as the foot as well. A few other things to clean up as well, I'm noticing. GX, bring this over to the shoulder. And then this chest bone will help your body not deform so much when you're moving the arm. So we'll scale that up. And we will move it GX over a bit. GZ down slightly. And we just want it to be in a place where it'll prevent this from deforming so much. So everything should be pretty much in place there. We'll press A to select everything. Go up to armature, press symmetrize, and now the bones should all be in place for your entire character. At that point, you wanna make sure that the scale is all correct. So in object mode, press your items and press control A, and then press rotation and scale, and you can just do this to everything. In your scene, to make sure that it all lines up correctly. If you don't do this, to put it as simply as possible, things just won't work right. So you wanna go through, make sure every item has the scale and rotation applied so we don't run into any speed bumps. Make sure the armature also has it applied, if I can get it. So with everything having the scale applied, you can tell that it's applied by going over to view and then item, it'll say scale 1.0 if you've scaled it. So if you have not scaled it, it potentially will say something else. It's possible that it will show up doing that without pressing the scale, but not as likely. So from there, you wanna go down to this little running man icon. It's the object data properties for the armature. And if you scroll down, there's this button that says generate rig. You can press that and you'll have a scale rig that looks like this. If you don't do that scaling first, the generated rig won't be the correct size. So now we can turn off this meta rig and you can press the body. You can shift click the rig there. You can press control P and then you want to select with automatic weights. So it gives you several options for connecting the armature with automatic weights is the one that you want. This will try its best to line everything up so that the bones move the correct muscles, but it only does so good. So we might run into some issues with that. So now that that's set, you can click on the rig and you can go to pose mode and you should be able to grab and drag things around. There's a bit of a problem there. The elbow isn't bending quite correctly. Use this to move around and it's moving pretty decently. All of these 
square ones here, square-ish ones, are going to control like the whole arm. And different things inside of this will do different things to different parts of the body. So these, for example, if you press S, they will scale the fingers to rotate them in to make a fist. If your bones were not in the correct placement to begin with, they won't scale totally correctly. So you might need to go back and adjust things slightly. Like this finger, it's a little wonky there. But overall, not too bad. You can also just go in and make fine adjustments if you don't want to go all the way back and reset the rig. Because we're just going to get one simple pose for printing, not really worry too much about animating it or anything. So it would be more of a concern if you were trying to animate this, but since we are not trying to do that, doesn't matter so much but you can grab these little circles inside the fingers to rotate and you can move it out with G same controls as anything else in Blender and in this case I'm leaving the head separate just because it's so easy to move it once you've combined everything that there's that factor and it kind of throws off the mesh sometimes when I've been setting up the rig. So from there, you just want to go back into object mode. And to add the clothing, you'll just do the same thing. So you can just grab the shirt, for example, first, and then shift click the rig, press control P and press with automatic weights. And now if you go back into pose mode again, you'll notice that the shirt now moves with the arm. To fix that elbow, you need to go back into the armature, or I would need to go back into the armature and push the elbow back a little bit so it bent in the right place. So for example, if you're trying to do that, you could delete this rig come back up to the meta rig, grab it, it will let me, tab into edit mode, and just press 7 to go to the top, we'll just move this elbow back a bit, move this shoulder part forward a little bit, And we'll apply the rig again. So tab back into object mode. We'll generate that rig one more time. Turn off the meta rig. Grab the body. Grab this. Press control P with automatic weights. And we'll go into pose mode and see if it works better this time. So now you can see the elbow is moving more, bending more how it's supposed to, but there's some distortion there. And that's just because of how the weight painting went. So when you do automatic weights, it doesn't ever work perfect. I mean, very rarely from what I can understand. So. You do have to do some weight painting, which I'll provide a link to that in the description. I'm not going to go over that portion just because I think other people can do it better than I'm going to. So just so you can see the entire thing anyways, let's go back to to object mode. Just going to combine these items with control J and to make sure the mirrors are applied first Let's 
gonna turn the hat off for a moment. And if the nose might get messed up with the subdivision surface modifier that's on the rest of it, but we'll see. Yeah, so it's like the subdivision surface modifier off of everything. So we'll go here, we'll add this subdivision surface modifier and apply it. And we'll see. It messes up the nose. Alright, not too terrible. So. We'll apply the close to this as well. Control P, automatic weights. Control P, oh, shift click. Control P, automatic weights, and just do this for any article of clothing, and then it should move with whatever your main object is. Keep having a problem grabbing the pants. Shift click that, control P with automatic weights, go into pose mode. And now you should see pants moving with the leg, the arm moving. And you really gotta play around with this a bit. It's hard to tell initially what each part does in this rig. Obviously, if you've never seen this before, it's incredibly confusing. But if you go from there, let's just take a look at the material preview turn off the rig for a moment. You can see it's done an okay job. We'd have to fix some things up with how the weights are moving so we don't get too much distortion. And so that we could pose it a little bit differently, but with the weight painting, with the weight painting thing that's provided in the description and that stuff, you should be able to pose the figure however you want pretty much within certain boundaries. And that will do it for the Funko Pop tutorials. If you got anything out of this, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.